Rich and it's Neil. We've got some Gunnamore bats. It's the 2023 range. We're going to test them in the net, live and unleashed. Mate, we're good to go. You look like you're T20 mode and I'm sort of test match. Well, so, you, so you're blocking it, I've got to whack it. Well, we'll, oh, see, how, we'll see how we I go. Don't think, I don't think that's going to work for me. Oh, what a good shot that is. Did you get that one? Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. So what have you got there? So I've got the Bravo. Oh, OK. Let's see how we go. Come on then. Oh, oh that's one for the so in the zone. I can't believe it. Nate, you're in trouble here. I'll go a little bit straighter. I have to say, you've nailed that. Now I've picked that up all right. Ooh. That's edgy. a rider favourite, that, isn't it? Yeah. Squirt it through point. <laughs> oh, there we go, cover drive. That's better. I'm going to slide it back a bit. Now, for those young cricketers out there, do watch this technical shape to the offside. This is very nice. <laughs> Oh, a bit straight. I'll just try and get one for the leg side. Oh, nicely done. Yeah, pretty good. Have you changed anything here or...? <laughs> yeah, I think I have. Oh, you've set yourself up, have you? Yeah. Some nice half volleys outside off stump. Well, I hope so. Is that a good area? I think you just yorked yourself. Oh, he's got his tower, ladies and gentlemen. Run, run, come on, we get that. No, oh, I'm sorry, Nath. Yes, I like that. I like this bat already, by the way, so what I'm gonna do is go to the shop and take this one with me. This is really nice. I like the shape. This is very similar to the one I use, so I've got to put my hat on my, my hands, on my heart, and say, if I don't like this, I've made some poor choices. Yeah. Oh, can you do that? Oh, oh, mine does. Yeah, loving it. So I'm having a lot of fun. Should we go back foot? Because I think. Foot, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I we, like that. You clearly mastered the front foot. Oh, wait there. Okay, so I really like this straight away. Good balance, good feel to it. It's the right shape for me. Haven't really noticed the toe very much. Did you not? I, I found that. You found very that a bit off putting, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, see, I would have gone the other way. I would say that was all right. What are we moving on to? Right, so I've now got the hyper. Okay, see how we go with the hyper. Oh, that's a bit uppish. Oh, and that's caught cover again. I thought you, you're T20, aren't you? I'll bet you test Yeah, that. I know, you're too. I was going to say we seem to have got this the wrong way around. Oh, shot. Oh, nicely played. How's it feeling? Picks up nice. Yeah, it does pick up nice. It's that full blade length again, though. Actually, compared to the 540s, 540s, you're definitely a lighter pickup and a bit quicker through the ball. Yeah. Then going back to a sort of traditional blade length, got to work a bit harder. Uh, I'll go back of a length again. Oh, lovely. Watch that lovely shot of yours. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah. Oh, that's not. Nice. You really feel you can get your hands through it. Do you say this one, you can be a little bit more forgiving on the contact? I think so, yeah. Actually, you can tell there's just that bit more wood in, round about that sort of middle, slightly off centre. I feel like I've got still something behind it. Okay. Last couple then. Oh, yeah. You're mixing those lengths up nicely, aren't you? Oh, that's a good one. That's the hyper. That's, that's all right. Oh, wait there. Then you're dead. You might have a great bat, well, but we haven't got a cameraman left. It's all right, I hit the stool. Oh, I nearly hit him again. Sorry, Nath. Oh, I've hit him. I've absolutely <laughs> hit him. He's killed the cameraman. Oh, I love it. Now, on behalf of Serious Cricket, nobody was injured in this presentation. In the making of this video. However, <laughs> Nath is now not alive. Oh, uh, we've gone short, we got short balls, because that's... No, one more. Oh, all right. You, oh, oh, sorry, just... Nath, move. <laughs> I like the shape, I like the feel. It does very different to the Brava. There you go on the back foot. See, that's comfy to me. Yeah, it's nice. And it allows you to get in and punch some of those, which is part of my game. So again, I think that's a really good shape. A lot of people are going to like that driving, hitting off the back foot. Very popular, I think, that one will be. Oh, this could be me. New balls, please. <laughs> all, all, year, all year I'm going to get collared for this. New I balls, might as please. well jump in with both feet. <laughs> well bold. That's my first good delivery today. Oh, oh nicely Ooh, played. That's better. That's better. That felt good. Well, having picked this one in the reviews, it definitely feels like it picks up well. But? But I've used so many different bats now. 
You're not sure which to go with. No, no, no. It's just making sure you just stick to your stick to your game plan. Hey, we're playing test cricket here. Oh, oh that's the help. Rooty, better stop that at first. The edges work on this. Oh, shot. Really good shot. I'll go for the traditional back foot ones. Oh, what a bolt. That wasn't deliberate, by the way. See, I think with those slightly heavy, slightly heavy bats, I wouldn't have the time to get onto that shot. Whereas for me, with this pickup, it definitely it works. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Can't get it right, can I? I won't say it. I'm not telling you what this bat is. This is your potential favourite. Yeah. Are we not going to change ends? End of the set. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. This is in Nathan's zone. Oh, no. Oh. No. <laughs> what do you think to the pickup? For me, I think. I'm not... Too light for you, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. It uh, reminds me a little bit of the Hyper, in that it's got that extra bit of wood at the top here. Um, and it's got that forgiving spine. Oh, Nath, get over there now. That's a shot. I had to bowl it straighter, because our cameraman's in danger. Oh, no. Oh, no, he's made the room. He causes me trouble all the time. See how you got on the back foot? I felt like I had a bit more time on the back foot with the, uh, with the Krios. You've got time here. So you've got time to hit one for the leg side. Yeah, and I'd be, you'd be able to play both of those shots with this one and I think the hyper. I like this, I think it's the balanced version. Straight away, I, I feel under, under pressure. Well, it's like Ben Stokes, you've got to perform, haven't you? True. You've got Ben Stokes back, you've got to do all right. I'm going outside off stump now. I'm going Ben Stokes, and give it a go. Oh, oh nearly. That. That's Too cool easy. cover as well. Do this properly, here we go. Oh, that's better left-handed. Oh, well bowled, Rich. Oh, that's uppish as well. Oh, I never hit him in the air. Got to hit him, though, to test it. Yeah, that's true. I wouldn't play that in a match. I'll be more, more there on the ground. Shot. See if I can get one through the, through the leg side. Yeah, shot. What are your thoughts? Really well balanced. Good value for shots all round. Here we go. Am I on about left-handed for this one? <laughs> yeah. Oh! oh. About time I played a decent shot. Enough. Come on, Tom, get there. One run. Oh, rubbish. Uh, this happens to be a really nice bat, and I think would lead you to say, oh, lots of lovely things about it. And I think we could get distracted by that. I think it has a really good balance to it, has a great shape. Feel like it's the, it's again, very similar to the Krios in that it's going to give you good balance. Feel like anybody could use that. 2022. You like this, didn't you? Oh no, no pressure. Yeah, no pressure. Be interesting to see if it comes to fruition. Uh, depends what length you're bowling. Oh, shot. So 540 blade on this one? Yep, 540 blade, so it picks up that a little bit lighter. I've hit some reasonable shots. I feel I've got less willow behind the ball. Yeah. I think great high spine. The lightness, you can you definitely get in the pickup. But where I'm hitting it, if I hit it slightly off centre, I don't think I'm getting maximum beans. No. Cool, I'll go shorter. Oh, that's close. Yeah, now on the back foot, this works for me. Yeah. Because just, you've just got that slightly fraction longer in the lighter pickup. Try and get one through the leg side, but without on, taking man. my head off. <laughs> Definitely good on the back foot. Less behind the ball on the front foot for me. Uh, so Prima, so this is the one you thought you were going to like and be a favourite, wasn't it? You, but actually... You see for yourself. Oh, Rich. What do, you, what do you feel in terms of wood behind the ball? I know what you're going to say, but I feel that the balance and the lightweight aspect of the bat, you're going to have that. But I feel if you're going to play, you're going to hit, you've got to hit it well. Yeah, you've got to hit it well. You've got to hit it well. But if you're using a lighter bat, that's probably what you need it for as a stroke player. So last but not least, eh? Lovely actual pick to Willow, this one. <laughs> okay, back to a bit, uh, bit front foot. Oh, yeah, that could be runs. Oh, that's a great shot. So in, I think where the Spark and the Prima, we've said are quite similar in shape. Yeah. I'm feeling I've got just a little bit more behind the ball with the Spark. Yeah, so it's the kind of the one in the middle, wasn't it? Yeah. Between that and the Kyrgios. And the Krios. Krios, there you go, Kyrgios. I've tried not to say Kyrgios, failed miserably. Krios, Rich, Krios. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah, that's better. And I definitely think there's just more behind the ball than the Prima on that one. So you're gonna like this. Oh, 
shot. I think this is the big surprise for me, this one. Yeah, yeah, which is what this wonderful process for us can give to lots of customers. That is a great bat. Okay, we're gonna go, we've got to go left, we've got to go right to left, don't we? Bravo, first one we've had a go at. I really like that. It's very akin to the shape of bat that I would I use, so I like that a lot. A lot of wood in it, very flat, like the little toe on it, a lot of wood down the bottom and in the hitting area that I want to use. Very strong for that sort of drive shape. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan. Um, I'm gonna go great edges, great profile, loads of willow in the bat. I struggled early on with the toe shape just because it's different now. Doesn't mean to say it doesn't work, it just means it just takes a little bit getting used to because most bats have, have normally come with a bit more of a rounded toe. So I struggled with that a little bit early on but you definitely get full value for your shots you've got a lot of wood behind the ball so next we were in the curios right? oh, the curios oh. i've done it again sorry nick i i liked this i like the balance on it i think it's comfy feels good in the hand it's got good balance i i think that was the the balanced version between this one and the hyper i felt the hyper had a bit more wood in it for your, your punchier shots but i do like the balance it's also got that forgiving nature in so you've got You've got a, definitely got a bit of both worlds there. Well, I thought this, I think that's going to be quite a popular bat. Yeah, I felt this picked up really nicely. I, I would change the grip, but that's because I don't like the eye classes of the grippy grip. Your grippy grip. Too grippy for me, but I, that's easily solved. You don't, don't choose a bat on the grip. I've said that many a time. Yeah. Um, but I would choose this bat because it picked up nicely. It's that 540, so slightly shorter blade. Yeah. yeah. Really like the feel of it. It's slightly less wood down the bottom. So actually on the front foot, got to really make sure you're hitting out the sweet spot. Overall, I, that's definitely be in my short list, I think. I like the styling. And definitely under these lights, that's definitely silver and white. There's no shade of grey in there. Hyper, so slightly longer blade. We again, I just felt lots of good wood in that. Felt I could get my punchier shots away. Felt I had some extra punch behind them. Good balance to it. Again, forgiveness. I liked it. I would definitely consider using that. I thought the Hyper was, was pretty well balanced. I think you get that value in and around that swell, that hitting zone there. Picks up nicely. I think, I, I felt that picked up slightly better than the Brava, but it, it's marginal. And you've got similar shapes in the range, so you've got lots to choose from. Overall, I think that's going to sell really well, though. Diamond, so 540. Like the balance on there, like the weight distribution. I mean, that's a super bat, by the way. Oh, I really enjoyed batting with that. I think we could take that one away, stick that in the pocket and run off. I think that's exactly it. I think that this isn't going to offend anybody. No. It's going to please pretty much everyone who's using this bat because the shape throughout, you mentioned it before, is really well distributed. So back foot, front foot, no matter where you play, that, that decent will bind it. It's always going to be popular if Ben Stokes is using it. We were lucky here. I think we had that's a limited edition version. It went like an absolute Ooh. train. It made us look a lot better. Lovely bit are. of willow. We got maximum <laughs> runs there for this. Yeah, we did. So overall, that that felt really nicely, and I think the grip works. It's quite nice and smooth for me. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's enjoyed that grip. Yeah, this one was a surprise for you a little bit. I think for you too. You, well, I quite liked I it. Liked yeah, it. I did. But then I like a balanced bat, so I like that little bit of spine on the bat. I like a little bit of good weight distribution. I find that really. I find that comfortable to hit through. The drawbacks for me are going to be it's a little bit lighter, so I need a little bit more punch too. So I would veer into see these two a little bit and I wouldn't be offended with one of these, but I think this is a really good option for a lot of young cricketers transitioning into adult cricket. I think this is a really good bat for batters that want a lightweight bat. This one's a really interesting one for me. I think off the shelf, this would probably be my go-to shape almost. I yeah. think I've used a lot of bats, this type of shape over the time I've been playing. The reason being it definitely picks up light. It's well balanced, good for probably playing the shorter ball. Maybe I didn't have, maybe I didn't face a very good over. Maybe I didn't play as well against your, your little nimbly seamers. <laughs> um, but I felt that I didn't get as much value when I was hitting the ball slightly off center, which you would expect. There's less wood there than there is right there. So if you mistime the ball, you don't get quite get it off center, then you're not gonna get as maximum value for your shots. What you are getting though, the trade-off is, is a really well-balanced, lightweight picking up back. A good observation, I thought. Right, Sparky. Again, we both like this one, but for you, add a little bit more punch to it. For me, add a little bit more punch to it. Very similar in terms of, of shapes for us. This one just has a little bit more in it. Again, really good balance, high spine, comfortable to bat with. Felt with this one had a little bit more to it. Yeah, I, I totally agree with what you said there, Rich. I think this was the surprise one for me in, in that still got quite a light balance pickup but it just had a little bit more to it. So if you're hitting the ball slightly off center or if you don't quite connect well, or if you do connect well, you're getting absolute maximum value. I, I really enjoyed this one. It's, a lovely, it's got a lovely grain in it, a lovely, lovely piece of willow. Yeah, that was my surprise and, and that overturned the Prima for me in terms yeah. of those two bats. So I thought they were gonna be quite similar. I just found that Bart was a bit more forgiving and you got more value. Ladies and gentlemen, we're choosing our favorite bat from the range. I have got this nailed straight away. I know where I'm going. Neil, on the other hand, mm -hmm. 
So for me, I, the standout was the Brava. It's the shape I've been using and it's the shape I'd like to keep using because I really like the way it comes off. I like a lot of the wood in it. I like the way it feels in the hand and I think it's a really good shape. It's got lots of forgiveness to it, which of course we all need. I like that shape. I like the flat face nature of it and I also like that little toe feature. How are you getting on? Struggling, if I'm honest. Oh no! Yeah, I think it's been a bit of a challenge this, this time around. I think choosing <laughs> one watching? out of these six has been difficult for me. Um, what I would say is I think I'm down to three. The Spark I preferred over the Prima. I just felt there's a little bit more to it. So I might need some help here, Heinz. Go on then. I really like the Diamond. That's hard to get away from because that's just a good all-round bat. And then in coming into the newer bats, Krios for me is, is probably where I'm headed to. I think it's that balance versus it's well-styled versus it's new, it's fresh. It looks great. It picked up well. It's got a hex grip. But I would change the hex grip. Yeah, I know you would. So I think, I think I'll have to choose the Krios with a different grip. What I would like to say is a huge thanks to Gunnamore and all the staff at Nottingham and their factory there. We know they're working hard. We know they're working around the clock. We know they're felling trees all the way through <laughs> now to making bats. So um, we really appreciate them sending all six of these bats for us to try. It really does give us a true reflection of what a bat is like when we actually play with it. It's hard to do that normally. And um, that was a great opportunity to be able to do that. It, it was. And, and the one really interesting thing, you can say those words, but actually Neil's gone from a Prima to Prios this year and it's different and he would have probably gone to a spark if he tried it last year. So uh, that shows you, you do need to pick up the bats because it just gives you the best test, it's the best, best guide. Team, we hope you've enjoyed that. We certainly have. I, tell you what, I feel like I could get out in the middle now. Um, do subscribe to our channel. We've got more videos coming. Do give us a thumbs up. Please make a comment below. I don't think I should have said that.